Thank you. The tornado movement was very erratic yesterday, making it difficult at times to pinpoint where those tornadoes were going. Fox 25 meteorologist Ross Muma joins us to talk about just how rare this was. Hey, good evening, Wendy. Yeah, you're right. A very rare event. These storms are already very difficult to forecast for and track, but a uh, pretty strange movement, not necessarily your most typical supercells here uh, across the state. So as Jack mentioned earlier, storms fired off there along the dry line between about four and five o'clock last evening. Multiple supercells then coming through uh, not only the metro area, but really just much of central Oklahoma. And then this was our big storm of the night huge hail core. There is that preliminary EF3 tornado that went through coal, eventually continued then through Cleveland County and eventually into Pottawatomie. Textbook look there with the hook echo as it continued then through the pink and Stella area and then eventually towards Shawnee. But as we take a look at the velocity, you're going to notice just how strange the storm movement uh, actually was. Typically, uh, these storms move west to east, maybe a little bit north or south, but generally west to east. Instead, you're going to notice here uh, this takes a direct left turn and goes directly due north. So it spares Goldsby and also spares Norman as it he was headed that way. Uh, and this is very, you know, just deviant storm motion. This can sometimes happen with some very strong storms that begin uh, to meander a little bit. They're almost stationary and then they can change directions very, very quickly. Uh, and we actually saw it happen multiple times uh, throughout the evening. Then we had multiple actual, you know, circulations within the entire supercell, and this is called the Fujiwara effect. You can often see this in uh, hurricanes and typhoons across the Western Pacific sometimes, but you can also see it on a much smaller scale with tornadoes as well. So you can see right there, there's a um, area of rotation near Clark's Heights, another one near Tecumseh. They're kind of just rotating and playing a cat and mouse game with one another as they continue to spin around. Typically, that stronger rotation wins the battle. And as you can see here, this one surges up from the back just through Shawnee and then eventually again makes that left turn straight due north up near uh, the Meeker and the Fowler area. So a pretty strange event with that deviant uh, tornado motion and the Fuji, uh, Fujiwara effect both happening. So really just a great reminder that uh, no matter what the storm, you never can know exactly where they are going to end up moving. So always make sure you stay, uh, stay put, make sure you stay in your safe spot.